What's going on, family? Get, get some people time to come in. <sighs> yeah, we're going to talk about this, man. Um, New Orleans, back the murder capital of the United States. Again, they said for the first half of 2022. Let me let me get let me get right. Um, and for that clown ass smart nigga, cigars, man. I don't smoke the other shit. Why I don't go live on YouTube? Say, but I try going live on YouTube, but they be fucking up my shit. For some reason, when you go live on YouTube, man, they they don't they but they they shadow ban my channel for certain stuff. Like I don't be knowing the rules, man. Like when I put the police in Charleston White on my as a cover, they shadow ban my channel. That's why nobody was getting notifications. I'm out. Right there is, is like the window. <laughs> Last time. I'm gonna spit in this house. First of all, this ain't a fucking house. If this a house, goddamn, why I live in a shed? I remember that last time. This ain't this is a damn like a little out house in the backyard. The MCC labeled New Orleans. Oh, let me say this before I start. If anybody blocked. Which I know they can't see if they block, but if you know if anybody block, let me know. I'm gonna unblock them, man. My nephews, they block people that say stupid stuff. I don't want them to block nobody that's saying nothing crazy. I don't want them to do it. They be doing it. I just not seen. I went. I went down. I own the YouTube. Own the YouTube. I'm gonna take this and put it on YouTube. Own the YouTube. I I, I finally because I don't know how to work it that good, so I, I get into the settings where they have. I guess the block list or whatever, the man that mug got, god damn, everybody. And I'm like, damn, what these people block for? Oh, he's talking crazy. Nah, let him talk. Let him talk, because if you watch an entire video, everybody should have their own opinion. But if you watch an entire video, and you keep watching videos, and you got something smart to say the whole time, you a bitch nigga. You, you a female. If I don't like a nigga, I'm not watching. Sometimes I think it be personal. Sometimes I think it's niggas I see every day. But don't say a fucking thing to me. Really don't like me, but jump on YouTube and, you know. So now, nah, let them be bitch niggas. Don't block them. Let them expose themselves. I ain't got to say shit to them. Real ones know that they, they bitches. But, excuse my language. But let's get into this. Um... New Orleans is back to murder capital. I don't know if y'all see it, y'all watch the news, but let me dig a little deep into it. Um, they said, judging by the size and the murders, they say, yes, yeah, it's, it's the worst one. Then you got Chicago and St. Louis. Chicago and St. Louis. Um, they said by last year, from now to last year, murders up 46%. From 2019, murders up 119%. Jesus Christ. Now I have to retract my statement. It still don't seem as dangerous, but when I say it's not dangerous like the 90s, it still don't seem that way to me because it just was, it was more vicious to me, you know? Um, but we don't have as much people in New Orleans now since Katrina, and it's still higher. So, yeah, it, it's there. And here's another thing. They said that most of the crime, 75% of it, is in two districts. New Orleans East and Central City. Central City is the third war. Let me clarify this. Central City is the third war. We call it Uptown. 
Let me jump on that right quick. We call it Uptown, but it's actual on the map is Central City. They talking about the third ward with the Mac, the Mac as the Magnolia, the Melphamine Project, and the Calio Project at. The one of the projects that Juvenile from, Calio, Master P from, and the Melphamine Project. Um, That's where that's at. Now, let me tell you something. I remember being a kid. I remember being a kid because I live... Let, let, let me clear this up right now. I, I don't clear it up because I be wanting people to um think. Nah, I ain't going to clear it up. I ain't going to clear it up. Think what y'all want to think. People, I hear people saying, man, you from this, you from this. You don't talk about this. All you talk about is this because you from up there. You don't know where I'm from, man. But um, I remember when I was young, I remember older cats. I remember an older person in the Magnolia and the Calio saying they didn't call that uptown. When they was coming up, we talking about older, like they probably been, we talking about motherfuckers that's probably 65, 79, you know. But Central City and New Orleans East, they said if you reduce crime in those part of towns, you reduce, if you, if you can reduce crime 50% in those areas, it'll reduce at least 25% all over. All the murders, is most of them, 75%, it's New Orleans East and Central City, which is the third ward. We say Uptown, white folks say Central City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, it's about to start happening. If you didn't know, you know. You better know now. Them sanctions and that time is about to start coming. You better believe it. JP, Haverhand or whatever, trying to set an example right now. They gave a little dude 55 years for, what did he, did he call Jack? Or tip to call Jack? Or did he call Jack? I don't know. 55 years, teenager. 55 years. Yes. Now, if you know the law, you know he probably can give a lot of that back, this state. And then they got something called excessive conviction or excessive time. Um, I, I don't know the correct terms. And that could be right there, you know, in appeal. So when they do stuff like that, they do it for shock value and they do it to send a message. Now, I ain't saying he gonna give it back. Cause he might be, he might, listen, it's a 75% chance he gonna do all that 55. When you're dealing, especially when you're dealing with JP, you know, okay, see murder case. It's known that he didn't shoot that dude. They still not letting him out. I think, I think somebody said he about to get out. I don't know. So when you're dealing with JP, you can do the entire 55. When you're dealing with any law enforcement, like when they, when people give time back, everybody don't, everybody don't get it. But back to this. Now, I'm not out there. I have a business. I'm currently, I'm currently acting. Um, my agent was talking about, you know, she was, she was telling me and commending me on a youth counselor. Cause I do that if, for those who don't know. And so I talked to them youngsters and what's going on is what's go, what, what was going on back when I was coming up. You have all these drugs out here. Case in point, you know, and that's an old dude, man, mystical older than me. I finally saw his charges when he was indicted. I'm thinking it was just the rape day. Man, they said this dude had, they said he, uh, they said he had, Heroin, drug paraphernalia, methamphetamine, Xanax pills. Jesus Christ. I remember seeing Mina say, they said when he went in the bathroom after arguing with the girl, he came out a totally different person. <laughs> that ain't funny. That ain't funny. But, it's a lot of drugs out here. Here's the difference. When I was coming up, it was foreign drugs. Pay attention. 
What if camera at the camera here? Foreign drugs. Pay attention. Meaning cocaine, which was coming from Mexico, Colombia. Weed. Nobody went dying over weed ever. Um, even heroin probably was coming from Japan or Pakistan or whatever. Foreign drugs. Now what we have. This, this country got rid of the foreign drugs. The war on drugs got rid of the foreign drugs. <laughs> and put in their own goddamn drugs. Methamphetamine, made in America. Xanax pills, whatever, made in America. Still got heroin, which I'm pretty sure they're growing that in America too. Just like they got this new strain of weed, all that is coming from California, Humboldt County and stuff like that. They even got the weed made in America. So. The drugs didn't go nowhere. The war on drugs, the war on drugs didn't stop any drugs. It just said, okay, we go get this money and not them other countries. That, that's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. Your boy laughing. But yeah. Yeah, man. Um, It's a lot of ways I can go with this. Only thing I could really say is we have to fix the home. I know you hear that a lot. The reason why we can never fix the home because there's a certain side, and I'm not even gonna say it, that nobody wants to blame too. Everybody is on the black father, like it's all our fault, like it's all black people's fault and the father's fault. Like, 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 nigga, just bust one and man, I don't wanna be bothered with you or the baby. I'm out. Nah, it ain't like that all the time. So nobody, if we can fix the both sides and both sides can take the blame of, 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 of um, not having a two-parent home because of the statistics show, and it's true, I see it in my own eyes. A two-parent home, children are raised with more morals and more discipline and just... Even when they mess up, they not as bad as the, you know what I'm saying? I, I see this. I'm grown now. I'm, I didn't live. I didn't live my life. You know what I'm saying? So I could see this. And I think it starts from there. Then you could add on the politics and a, and a, um, and a, and a law enforcement, but it starts from the home. And, and instead of all this dumb shit that's out here that, that, that's straight up tearing apart the home. But I noticed. It's only tearing apart mostly one people. Everybody else not going for it. They fighting against that foolishness. We goes for it. Because let me tell you something. Of course, you got people on the streets. I've been on the streets for a long time. And the streets bragging right now. The streets is bragging on we the murder cappy. They bragging on it. I know. Because we bragged on it when we was young. We made rap songs. We made rap careers. We we made rap careers over there. We made rap songs. We did that, man. And we was young, didn't know any better. Now I'm older. That shit's stupid as hell because the ones bragging, most of you not going to make it out of it. That's why when I do the youth counseling, I reach a lot of them and they do pretty good. Some of them about to go to college and stuff like that. I mean, and it was terrible, man. You know, when I when I try to youth counsel, I try to get the ones that's terrible. I'm I don't try to get the ones that's aiming that way. I probably I try to get the ones that probably didn't already shot somebody or some stuff like that. And guess what? Some of them they a lot a lot of them respect me. They like to hear what I got to say because I've been where they at. And and um I help them out, talk to them, let them see what's real, let them see what's fake. But yeah, New Orleans is back to murder capital. And let me, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, it's not a game. And um, it's about, and, and it's getting worse. And what it is, is no more PPP loans. No more ED, EIDNL. No more none of that. People are starving. Crime is up everywhere. It's just that New Orleans, St. Louis, and Chicago is it, it's, it's ridiculous. You know. You got, you got, you got hating ass motherfuckers. You got starving people. And you got people feel like that's the only ways of making money. 
bad combination. Then you got these crews and gangs going on and they beefing and they, it's all kind of stuff, man. Some people say they be beefing over territory. I don't believe that. Cause I don't see, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I don't see you making money off selling drugs no more. Not, not, not money I'm talking about. Now maybe it's money to you. Maybe if you're sitting on a few thousand, you you doing it. I don't know. You might think that's doing it, but I just don't see any money. I, uh, maybe that's the problem. Maybe they just ain't making money and, and they just robbing it. I don't know. But somebody, they, they, they go do something about it for the law. I'd rather you do it some about it yourself and don't leave it up to the law because the law will throw you away. Because what well, people don't understand, that teenager that robbed, um, tried to rob that couple, put the gun to the lady head and all that, and Harrahan of all places. I'll tell y'all a story about Harrahan. Let's see if y'all remember this. I was living in Harrahan right when I met my current wife. We both was out of our situations and we moved to Harrahan. That was a long time ago. Before we got this house, you no know, two houses before we got this house, we were staying in apartments right there on Hickory. Hickory. They had this white girl staying behind me. Check me out. She used to be messing with people, husbands. She had a mixed child. She messed with black and white. She had no problem. You you used to hear people knocking on her door. Bam, 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 leave my motherfucking husband alone. Well, this time, that was a white girl. That is a white girl, a white lady. Burnt, what, broke her windows and spray painted on her car. Nigger lover. All kind of shit, all kind of racist shit. The news, somebody called the police, the news came around. I walk outside and the news come in front of me. If y'all remember that, if I can remember, I'm gonna post that when I put it on YouTube. I'm gonna post the caption when I was on the news. And they asking me questions like, I know, I don't know what's going on. I, 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 don't, I don't even know the girl, you know what I'm saying? Um. And I just said, I looked at the car. They said, what you think about it? I said, it's just pure racism, man. That's what it is. It's pure. I mean, look at that. So we're in Harrahan. I'm, I'm telling you that to let you know what Harrahan's about. In some parts. Not all. I don't want to just do the whole Harrahan. But yeah. You in Harrahan of all places. And now you see what happened. 55 years. 5-5. Five, five. Fever, fever. Fish, fish, however you want to look at it. 55 years. And they about to start doing that in New Orleans. Because if you don't, for those OGs out there, a lot of them watch this channel. I, I appreciate that. I see, them, I see them a lot all the time. Like when I go to Triangle for my breakfast and stuff, I go, you know, you know. Y'all need to start talking to them youngsters, man. I know you can't do nothing with them, I know. Because I try to talk to them, and a lot of them I can't do. They respect me. All right, Uncle. All right, OG. But they go leave and do their thing. Just like I used to do back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I know. But guess what? If you keep running your mouth, you'll get at least one of them. Like I do. I get at least one or two of them. Because the only thing is, like that dude that committed that, that got the 55 years Understand this. I know cats that was worse than him. Worse. Worse. I can't say I was worse because I wasn't a robber. I was about my money. And if you mess with my money or you play with me, then I went all the way out. You know, that that's one problem I had. I mean, it wasn't a problem, but that's what used to... That's probably what I, how I survived because I used to be so humble and about my money that when cats violate... And then when I step out there, they're like, damn, well, it's too late now. And I ain't think this dude would go that far. So it's crazy because I had a lot of partners that did the robbing, they did the, the brutal shit. But when it was time to put in work, they weren't as, they, they was not, they weren't more, how, how can I say it? They weren't as aggressive as me. I was more aggressive when it came, came time to put in work. But you ain't see that until it was time. 
My point is, I knew people worse than him. And in a sense, I don't know the cat. I can't say I was worse, but I was real aggressive when it was time to put in work. When it was time to put in work, no love, no nothing. I changed my life. Took like around 36 years old or a little younger. No, it started over. It took me from 20, at around 29, 30, I was gradually doing it. It took me six years after that to finally, you know, like, damn, you know, but that dude can change. He can be a totally different person and like that. I know cats worse than him. That was way worse, you know, and lucky God gave them another chance. And some people would think they didn't deserve another chance, but these cats are real good people right now. Fire people, man, helping people out. Um, all of them try to give to the community. All of them, you know, they they get a shirt off their back right now. They help out there, you know. So that little dude can change. That little dude can be somewhere else, but uh, he might don't have, you know, he might don't get the chance. Fifty-five years. So that's why I hate to see that. Because I know, but people that never been in that situation, they don't know. They don't know. They do not know at all. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. And um, it's crazy. And I'm telling you, by New Orleans being a murder capital, again, the shit coming down. They're putting together plans right now. And y'all, y'all don't slow that shit down. Y'all going in that place. Now, some of y'all don't think that place is some of y'all and I know because I had partners like that I had notice I said head I never was like that I didn't like that place I didn't like being caged up I didn't like being I like being, being having my freedom in Roman I used to be real edgy in that place real edgy 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 you was, you was, you was gonna get these hands in a minute in that place I used to be so edgy so off you know and then I didn't never I never did serious time we talking about I never did serious time. We talking about just being in there, period. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. So, I'm telling you now. Murder Capital. Go ahead and make your records. But I'm here to tell you right now. They coming. They coming, bro. And they not playing with you. They not playing with you. And the sad part about it is going to be a lot of our youngsters going down. And guess what? It ain't all of our youngsters doing it. I can promise you that. And they gone. So your nieces, your nephews, whatever. And guess what? Let me say this. Then it's going to be another generation without fathers. Because even in the mix, it will be some people that don't deserve it. They go get thrown away in that system. Yeah, that's just what it is. So tell me what y'all think about that in the comments. One love, baby.